Hello, today I am doing a chain pull and making a feather. Yeah, that's quite a tongue twister, well, but all wrong way around. So what I'm doing here is I'm just putting paint into a flat base, onto a flat base. You can use paper, you can use it next to your canvas or whatever it was that you want to put on. All you want to do is just pour some paint onto there and lay your chain on in there. Okay, so while, I'm, while the chain is just absorbing some paint, I'm sorting out my background. The paint for the chain pull is slightly thicker um, and that when I pour the paint off the stick it mounds, it, when it hits the paint in the cup it's going to have form a little mound. Okay, I want it to be slightly thicker because I want to keep the shape, um, the shape of the feather and I want to get the definition from the chain. I'm just heating it up a little bit. So what you do is you just lay it flat like this. Um, Oh, what I should have done was taken photos to put on afterwards. Anyway, you can vary the size of the feather by pulling it out. Okay, so you can pull it out closer to the edge of the canvas or you can pull it out closer to the inside of the feather. Okay, back into, I've wiped that paint off, the white paint off. Back into the paint. Just showing you what I'm doing close up. Okay. Again, laying it, just abutting the paint that's down there, or that's on the canvas already. Okay, so, and then pulling it out again. I'm going to pull it quite wide, you can see that. That white paint that's all co uh, collecting there, don't worry, you just pull it off. Okay, don't... Okay. No, the feather needs a spine. Okay, so it needs to have a, a, a middle thing. Also, because you want to just anchor it onto the canvas, you want to give a little bit of definition. I really did like this. This has come out very nicely. So I'm just going to, with, you can do this by laying the, feather, the chain back down the middle and then pulling it off, but it tends to be quite big. Okay, so I just took the stick and also there I'm just pulling out little bits at the bottom because a feather sometimes has little things at the bottom there. Adding glitter because it's me and I love glitter because glitter makes the world go round and it just adds a little bit of sparkle. And there, um, yeah, I didn't want a torch because I didn't, so I just thought maybe I'd give a little blow on the ends, but I don't want to lose the definition. There's no silicone in this as, as well, because I don't want to lose the shape of those things, those of those from the chains. I'm going to see if I can just take some photos and add the details on to the end of this. Okay, I'm sorry if this is just a bit disjointed. I've just added on some photos, some images, some close-ups. So I'm not quite sure that the recording, the voiceover, if it's going to work. All right, so this is a technique I really enjoy. I really, really enjoy this feather. And I hope you do too. I hope you learned something. And I'll catch you soon.